Now in this video I am going to explain the concept of transpose of a matrix. So let's start with the definition. Transpose of a matrix A is the matrix obtained by interchanging interchanging the rows and columns of the matrix A and it is denoted by A dash or A raised to the power T. Transpose of a matrix A is, is a matrix obtained by interchanging the rows and columns of the matrix A and it is denoted by A dash or A raised to the power T. For example, A is a matrix 2, 3, 5, 4, 3 or 4, 7, 9 say. So, these are the rows and these are the columns of matrix A. If we interchange these rows and columns, we get transpose of A which is denoted by A dash or A raised to the power T. So, transpose of A, A dash is written as, now the first row becomes first column 2, 3, 5 and the second row of A becomes second column. 4, 7, 9. So, this is the transpose of matrix A. Now, we will talk about symmetric matrix. A square matrix A is said to be is said to be a symmetric matrix if A transpose is equal to A itself. For example, A is the matrix 2, 4, minus 5, 4, 3, 9, minus 5, 9, 6. So, if we take the transpose of this matrix, let's change, let's interchange the rows and columns. So, let us make the first column, first row, uh, the uh, first column of this matrix, so we write 2, 4, minus 5 and its second row as second column 4, 3, 9 and its third row as third column minus 5, 9, 6. So, we have interchanged all the rows and columns but still we have the same matrix. 2, 4, minus 5, 2, 4, minus 5, 4, 3, 9, 4, 3, 9, minus 5, 9, 6, minus 5, 9, 6. So, taking transpose of matrix A, we get the matrix A itself. So, it implies that A transpose is equal to A itself. Thus, here in this example, A is a symmetric matrix. Let's talk about skew symmetric matrix. 
So, it is defined as a square matrix say B is said to be a skew symmetric matrix if transpose of B is equal to its negative if B dash is equal to minus B for example B is the matrix 0 4 minus 3 minus 4 0 7 3 minus 7 0 one point must be noted that in a skew symmetric matrix the diagonal elements are always 0 so here what we have to do we have to take the transpose of B so B dash is equal to let's interchange columns and rows so first row of this matrix is made the first column so 0 4 minus 3 and the second row of this becomes second column minus 4 0 7 and the third row of this becomes third column so 3 minus 7 0 so now let's take minus 1 common that is writing negative sign outside the matrix we have to interchange the signs of every element of the matrix so 0 is 0 it is neither negative nor positive so written as it is and it becomes plus 4 it becomes minus 3 it becomes minus 4 0 is 0 minus 7 becomes plus 7 minus 3 becomes plus 3 minus plus 7 becomes minus 7 and 0 as 0 so you see after taking minus common out of the elements of B dash we get the same elements as that of matrix B 0 4 minus 3 0 4 minus 3 minus 4 0 7 minus 4 0 7 3 minus 7 0 3 minus 7 0 so it implies that B dash is equal to minus B so the criteria of skew symmetric matrix is satisfied so B is a skew symmetric matrix now, there are three theorems based on the concepts of symmetric and skew symmetric matrices and these three theorems are very important as such these are very frequently used in the study of matrices so we are going to study or we have to we are going to discuss those three theorems in details so the first theorem is the sum of every square matrix and its transpose is always a symmetric matrix that means if we add up the transpose of any square matrix in the matrix itself the result is always a symmetric matrix and we are going to prove it so proof let A be a square matrix of any order now if P is P denotes the sum of matrix A and its transpose let us make equation number 1 now taking transpose of both the sides of this equation we have P dash is equal to A plus A dash whole dash the transpose 
of a plus a dash a plus a dash whole dash means transpose of a plus a dash so p dash is equal to as we know the transpose or uh, the transpose is always distributive over any bracket that is if we open up this bracket this transpose goes on both the matrices or all the matrices in a, mat in a bracket so we may write it as a dash plus a dash dash the transpose of a and the transpose of a dash further we also know that the transpose of any transpose is the matrix itself that is a dash whole dash is equal to a again because two times transposition makes every element as original so now p dash is equal to a dash plus a and since the addition of matrices is always commutative a dash plus a may also be written as a plus a dash so we may write it as p dash is equal to a plus a dash let it be equation number two if we compare equation number one and equation number two p is equal to a plus a dash and p dash is equal to a plus a dash from one and two from one and two we came to know that p dash is equal to p the transpose of p is equal to p itself which is the criteria of a symmetric matrix so we may say that p is a symmetric matrix symmetric matrix and p is a symmetric matrix and what we have assumed as p that is a plus a dash that is p is the sum of the matrix square matrix a and its transpose and we have shown that p is a symmetric matrix so we may say that the sum of a and its transpose is symmetric so it implies that a plus a dash is a symmetric matrix so we have proved that sum of every square matrix and its transpose is a symmetric matrix.